Well, there's a new study that finds artificial sweeteners could put users at risk for diabetes. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles. Doctor, good morning. All right, there's artificial sweeteners in yogurt. There's artificial sweeteners in your Diet Coke. And a lot of people like us put it in our, our tea. What does this study find? Well, you know, artificial sweeteners were developed so we could have it all, retain our sweet tooth and make it happy, and at the same time, maybe not get all the calories associated with sugar. And what this study showed is that if you take it on a regular basis, first in mice and then in humans, it actually makes it much harder to control your sugar, which is equivalent to diabetes. But what's really profound about this study and taught me a lot is that it's not doing so by a regular mechanism. It's changing the bacteria yep. in our GI tract. So if you take bacteria from someone who is fed artificial sweeteners, a human, and put it in a mouse, that mouse will develop diabetes. Really amazing observation. So the results are a big surprise to the medical community? You know, I think the mechanism is a major surprise. It really teaches us that our body has tenfold more bacteria in our body than we do human cells in our body. And they're such an important part of us. And it also tells us that these simple ways to satisfy our cravings in the end may cause problems and we need to pay attention. I know I'm stopping and telling my family to stop taking these artificial sweeteners now. I say stop. I can't get over the aftertaste of artificial sweeteners. I still feel that, but okay. Mm -hmm.